We're reviewing another gateway disc here, a distance driver called the Spirit. We have it in diamond plastic coming in at 174 grams with the flight numbers of 12404. We were given the disc by a member of our disc golf club to review. We did go on the Gateway's website to get additional information regarding the disc. This is from their flight chart. This is going to show the profile of the disc and the expected flight pattern at various arm speeds according to their flight chart. The Spirit. I gotta say I like this uh, this diamond plastic blend a little better. It has little sparkles in it. Looks nice. Uh, but let's talk about the disc actually now, okay. So, diamond plastic, feels good, durable. A little flex, not too much. Profile, it does have a slight curvature here to this bottom plane. I'm really interested to see if it does these numbers, because that 04 for the uh, for the fade and turn, I mean turn and fade, uh, makes it seem like it may be too overstable for any, uh, any really good use. But I, I guess the thing to do is to take it out to the field and see. Does it have much glide, which is also uh, making me think it's just going to be a meat hook and just fall. But we'll see how it actually flies when we uh, get it out to the field. The spirit. Let's do this. My name, my start date, my orientation, my PDGA number, my rating, my average drive, and rounds played. Like always, I like to see the natural flight of the disc. Because of its numbers, I did start with Annie's. The first thing I can say about the Spirit is, surprise, the numbers on the Spirit make complete sense after some time with it. I was first concerned about the turn, not an issue. Then concerned about the fade, not an issue. Did I say something about the glide? Not an issue. This is a high speed distance driver just as advertised. The Spirit has nice lines and goes without saying that I like the diamond plastic. Feels good in the hand and at release. The glide on the disc is stated as four and that is plenty. There are no concerns about it falling out of the sky. You quickly gain confidence to throw the Spirit on a good strong ante, forehand or back, knowing that it's not going to turn over and always finish. I don't have great form when it comes to forehand, so the disc will wobble out, find my line, but still finish the job. Just let it go on the ante, sit back, and watch the flex. You need a good skip shot, just throw it flat or low and see how far left this thing goes. I'm not a skilled overhand thrower, but I have heard that it has great results from other members of the disc golf club. Reliable, dependable, consistency, that's what you get in the Spirit. The Spirit is getting a rating of in the bag. What more can I say about the disc? For me, it's the right balance of speed, glide, and overstableness. We have not been steered wrong with the diamond plastic. Since testing, I have noticed that the inner edge of the blade slopes ever so slightly as it meets the bottom plate. This just gives a better feel of security in the hand, especially with a forehand grip. As a testament to how much this is in the bag, I was asked if I wanted to keep a test disc, and the Spirit was the one. If you see me with my tournament bag, ask me to see it. It's in the bag. All right, we have the Spirit by Gateway Disc in the diamond plastic. Touch to touch on the plastic first. The diamond plastic feels very durable in the hand. There is a good amount of grip to it, not overly slick like some other premium plastics. This is a 12 speed driver, so the rim on it is a little bit wider than what you might be used to. However, for somebody with my hand size, I was able to easily establish a power grip on this. There was no feeling of this disc coming out earlier, not being able to properly grip it. The depth is a normal depth for a, a high-speed driver. There is a little bit of a pop top, but it feels comfortable overall. Name, started playing, orientation, PDGA number, rating, average drive, number of rounds played. So here we are watching the Spirit in action. This disc is every bit as stable 
as it is touted to be. There is a turn of positive one, which means it's not going to move to the right. I gave this disc everything I had. And for my arm speed, you know, I'm an intermediate player, gets it out to about 350. This disc in my hand was getting maybe 280 at max, and that was throwing it flat and hard or even on a touch of any. It is going to go left no matter what. If you're throwing it on a forehand, it's going to stay straight and it's going to finish right. It's going to get a lot of ground play. I mean, honestly, I haven't seen this much beef since Biggie and Tupac back in the 90s. This thing is crazy beefy. And I have a newfound level of respect for what Nico LaCastro was able to do with this disc in his hand. As you can see from these throws here, it is just flat and immediately starts going left. Out of the hand, it will not move to the right. It will just stay on the line that you release it and then it starts moving on over to the left. This is a perfect power hyzer disc, a headwind fighter by far. I mean, I think you can throw this thing into any type of headwind and have the confidence and peace of mind to know that it's gonna move its way back over to the left no matter what you do to it. Even throwing it on high annies, it still fights out and just works its way back over to the middle. I mean, it is predictable. It does its numbers and then some bang. So the Spirit by Gateway disc for myself is getting a rating of In the Garage. It is just a lot of disc. I mean, this thing is crazy overstable. And for myself and my arm speed, there's not a lot of use that I would get out of this besides for utility shots, uh, skip shots. A headwind fighter is something that I need to kind of immediately go left on a hard turn or right on a forehand. But for everyday usage for me and my arm speed, uh, the level that I play at, I wouldn't get a lot of use from this disc being in my bag. So for that reason, it's going in the garage.